journeying to the outer region of our solar system to the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, past the orbit of Neptune where we find Pluto, Omea, Sedna, Megmeg, other dwarf planets, Halibop, and other comets. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is the Learning Academy. Today we'll be visiting the amazing Kuiper Belt and its planets along with the Oort Cloud and its many comets. Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system that exists beyond the eight major planets. It is a large structure that extends across a huge region beyond Neptune. There are four dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt. It is filled with icy objects that have been around from the beginning of the solar. It is estimated that there are over 2,000 objects in the Kuiper Belt. It includes moons, comets, dwarf planets and other remnants from the formation of the solar system. It is very similar to the asteroid. The dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt are Pluto, Eris, Omea, Quar, Sedna, Orcus, Meek and Ceres. The dwarf planets that have moons are Pluto, Eris, Omea and Quar. Pluto is the king of the Kuiper Belt because it is the largest Kuiper Belt object. It is considered to be the second most massive object. The most massive object is Eris. Ceres is the smallest Kuiper Belt object. The Kuiper Belt contains 100 million comets that are considered to be short period comets. Our journey through the outer space of our solar system takes us to the Oort Cloud. This is the most distant region of our solar system. It is farther from the sun than the outer reaches of the Kuiper Belt. The Oort Cloud is a giant spherical shell surrounding the rest of the solar system. Oort Cloud is the most distant region of the solar system, theorized by John Oort to explain the origin of comets. He theorized that these ever-present comets came from the icy Oort Cloud. These comets are planetesimals, or failed planets, that condense in the disk of gas surrounding the newly formed Sun. It is theorized that the Oort Cloud was developed 4.6 billion years ago. The planetesimals and asteroids were scattered by the gas giants, especially Jupiter. The cloud contains about 2 billion to 2 trillion icy objects. It is an immense region filled with long period comets. The icy objects in the Oort Cloud are made of methane, ammonia, and water. Comets visit the sun very often and are later evaporated in the sun's corona. The cloud begins 2,000 astronomical units away from the sun. It is one light year thick. The Oort Cloud includes the following objects, the Halibob Comet, Sedna, and BP-113. The Oort Cloud is divided into a disc-shaped inner Oort Cloud and a spherical outer Oort Cloud. The regions of the Oort Cloud lie beyond the heliosphere and in interstellar space. This serves as the last area or boundary between the solar system and interstellar space. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is the Learning Academy. Thanks for watching.